Well, Baltimore is suing the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms to get what Mayor Brandon Scott says is information that could save lives. The city filed a request to receive that data, tracing guns, in hopes of fighting crime, but the mayor says that request was denied. WJZ is live at 5 o'clock. Dennis Valera is in your corner at City Hall with details on this new lawsuit. Dennis. Nikki, to get the full picture of gun violence in the city and to effectively combat it, Mayor Brandon Scott says we need to know where these guns are coming from. In this lawsuit, he and every town say that there is a key amendment that's blocking the city from getting this potentially life saving data. Maya Martin in January, Isaiah Carter in March, and three teens outside of Carver High School in October. Mayor Brandon Scott says gun violence has done and continues to do so much damage in the Charm City, and most recently, a two year old in Park Heights just days ago. Dead, shot at home, right? With a gun we know probably shouldn't have been in that house. It's why he's trying to get gun tracing data from ATF. After the agency denied the city's FOIA request for this months ago, the city is now suing to get this information. Mayor Scott says knowing more about where guns used in crimes are bought helps build better strategies. The request specifically looked for tracing information for guns used in the city between 2018 to 2022, and the average time it took from the guns being sold to being used in a crime. Right now, we're not able to know if there's one gun store responsible for a disproportionate number of the guns flowing into our city, or if there's one area where trafficking guns is more common than others. The big obstacle listed in the complaint, the T. Hart Rider. The amendment allows law enforcement and prosecutors to get this data for specific cases, but can't share it. It's why the ATF denied the request. But Every Town Law, the litigation arm of gun control advocacy nonprofit Every Town for Gun Safety, says the writer does not address FOIA, nor would adhering to the request cause privacy issues. FOIA itself has those exceptions already built in. So there, we, are, we have not asked for anything like that. That data cannot be shared anyway. Mayor Scott says the lawsuit is not about getting at ATF. It's just about clearing the hurdle the T. Hart Rider creates. Uh, the current inter interpretation of the rider impedes our ability to examine the data and use that analysis to go after those gun traffickers. ATF is declining to comment on this, saying they don't comment on pending litigation. According to every town, it's been 20 years since a municipality sued for this data. According to Mayor Scott, he says that more than 200, 2,700, excuse me, of these guns were taken off the streets this year. That's 9% more than last year. He adds that since for the first time since 2014, the city is on track to not hit 300 homicides. Reporting live, I'm Dennis Flair for WJZ. All right, Dennis, thank you. Back